Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. I pray that you're having a fantastic day. I'm excited about the word of the Lord tonight. You know, um, we it seems to me, I don't want to say we've been on a roll, but I'll tell you what, the Lord has certainly uh, been blessing and speaking and giving us his word. And I tell you, he we're in a time of blessings and I thank God for his goodness, his kindness, his tender mercy, how he's opening our eyes, how he's causing his face to shine upon us. And for all who want to, for all who desire, you can constantly move up in the things of God. Tonight, I am going to be talking about something that is going to bless you real good. It is the will of God that the blessings of the Lord, the favor of the Lord, the benediction of the Lord be upon your life and that you walk in his blessings so that the world can look on us and see that there is a difference between the believer and the unbeliever. You know, in times like these, with all of the upheaval that's going on in the world, the, the trade the winds are blowing, uh, society is constantly in flux, things are going on. You know, uh, the believer, however, should be the most stable person in all of society because we know that the God of the Bible has our back. He's our rear guard. He has our front. We're standing on his promises. We lift our eyes to the hills for we've come with our help. I mean, he's got us covered. And uh, tonight, the word of the Lord is going to bless you real good. Now, I want to show you something. Friday night, here at the upper room. Listen, never a dull moment here at the upper room. Friday night, we're having the J. Drew Sheards Ministries present Pentecostal Explosion. It's, it's a regional crusade. Uh, he's been in Texas. Uh, he's been elsewhere. And uh, I'm honored to facilitate this great explosion that will take place here tomorrow night at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And listen, there will be something that is called a triple threat. The fire experience, triple threat. And the, the triple threat is uh, Bishop J. Drew Sheards, uh, his wife, a lady, Karen Clark Sheard, and her sister, evangelist, chair lady, Dorinda uh, uh, Cole, uh, will be ministering the word of the Lord. All three of them will be preaching the word of God right here tomorrow night uh, at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. S service starts at 730 and, uh, and, uh, and the next day at 10 a.m. we're having a morning empowerment session. All ministry workers and leaders are invited. We're expecting uh, leaders to come from everywhere. Again, it's Bishop J. Drew Sheards, Dr. Karen Clark Sheards, and Dr. Dorinda Clark Cole. They're going to be ministering the word of the Lord here. We have a nice program laid out for you. The program, the program won't be very lengthy, and we're going to put the man, the, uh, uh, this man of God and these, these women of God up and God is going to bless us real good. Also, I can't tell you, but the Lord has given me the theme for 2020, should the Lord delay his coming. And soon uh, I have already uh, aligned my speakers for our year end Revival. So I'm excited about that. We're ahead of the ball game. Things are in place. Soon announcements will be, uh, uh, advertisements will be on the news. Uh, we're going to be talking about it. And uh, I just look forward to what God is going to do here in the last quarter of 2019 going into the year 2020. Should the Lord allow us to live and the Lord delay his coming, we have reasons to expect uh, some great things from the Lord. Let me tell you something. Our God is strategic. Our God is real. Our God is almighty. And tonight, tonight, we're going to do some things. We're going to talk about some things. We're going to explore the scriptures so that we will be able to walk in the blessing, 
that the Lord has for us. God bless you. I'll see you tonight for Bible study. Here it is again. Here we are talking about Bible study. Yeah, tonight we're going to gather to study the word of the Lord together. Come out one, come out all to our Thursday night Bible study. <laughs> God bless you.